Robbie, can you just talk a little bit about how this deal together, or how this deal came together to run the Daytona 500? Uh, yeah, it definitely came together uh, weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago. Obviously, with Rick Royal Racing and Stuart Haas Racing, it was kind of a little bit of fine lines, obviously, because Stuart Haas doesn't have that relationship with Rick Ware anymore. They're moved on to RFK, but. Um, more put together by the management group of KHI and things like that just to get good experience in a cup car and um, to go out there kind of stress-free stress free without a charter and just get as much experience as I can and um, go take it all in because this is the Daytona 500. How, How good does it feel that take off, not having to worry about qualifying your way in on speed or, or through the duels? I think it, uh, as a young driver like myself, who have never even driven a cup car before and when NASCAR doesn't really give you much practice before qualifying or the duels, um, takes a lot of better pressure off because I don't have to go put in a fast time tonight. I also don't have to race my way in tomorrow night. I can just go out there and learn the car, learn how these drive on super speedways and uh, get ready for 500 on Sunday. This is your first attempt at the 500, right? Yeah, first not, cup start as well, yeah. You're not nervous at all? I mean, I'm nervous, but I think that just comes with the, the Daytona 500. This is the, the biggest race in North America. This is um, this is what every kid dreams of racing, so I'm excited. Obviously, there's some nerves, but more excitement. And, and how old are you? Just 23. Did you think that 23 you'd even be considered for a ride? No, a obviously not, but uh, just super thankful and, and blessed to be here and uh, able to run a, a childhood dream for sure. So how does someone like you make the most of Sunday? I think just getting all the experience I can. Uh, obviously, this is a very tough race, not only to make, but uh, to run up front. So we're going to try to complete all 500 miles and, and be there at the end. And obviously, the, the goal for me is simple. I want to become a better race car driver after Sunday. So um, when I strap into the car at Talladega in my Xfinity car, I'll know more tools in my toolbox. I'll have more experience on super speedways. And um, I've raced with the best here on Sunday, so I can take that to the Xfinity Series and hopefully up my game there as well. So obviously, you know, your boss is one of the best super speedways in history. I mean, has he been able to give you any advice even with the differences between the next-gen car and what he drove during his career? Are you referring to For Tony? Tony yeah, yeah, uh, yeah he, he's good. He's just kind of told me to kind of take in the moment. Obviously, you only get to do one first. This is my first 500 media today. This will be my first qualifying. So uh, take that all in because if I am fortunate enough to do it again next year or another time, it won't be my first. So that's kind of the biggest message I've had is uh, enjoy the moment and obviously um, try to go perform at the highest level. And on that note of enjoying the moment, I mean, going from different like emotions of you know, like JGR and then moving to Stuart Haas, and obviously like the rough first year. I mean, what is the whirlwind like as you keep growing at SHR? It's hard. Obviously, you have to be focused on yourself and um, understand that at some points you're you're not going to succeed where you want. Um, and transitions are hard. And obviously, it, it was a tough first year at Stuart Haas, but last year I feel like we stepped up our performance on a, at a very notable level. And hopefully, we can do the same thing again this year um, to a higher standard and uh, compete for wins. Obviously, we have a, a teammate in Cole Custer, and um, we'll use that all we can. How much of a difference does no practice make before qualifying? Uh, for qualifying, not really much. Um, obviously, a rookie like myself, I would like to have, if I was greedy, to have a little bit of practice today and then another one before the duels. But I can get away with uh, no practice for qualifying. But I do wish we had a session um, before the duels tomorrow because that's my first time ever racing in a cup car. But uh, like I said, we're locked in, so we don't really have to worry about that. And I can use the duels at a pr as a practice session. How difficult is it? I, I don't know if it's difficult at all, but it, just trying to take what of what apply what you learn tomorrow night to apply to Sunday when you're racing night versus day, but also you've got the Xfinity race to focus on on Saturday as well in a completely different style of super speedway racing. So like, how do you balance all the kind of just the the overflow of inf information you're getting? Yeah, there's a lot of information, um, and I also I'm very focused on the Xfinity series. This is a huge year for my career in my Xfinity car, so I'm extremely focused on that aspect. So I can't let this whole Xfinity deal get lost in the wayside on the cup race so uh, we're going to try to compartmentalize um, each day and take it one step at a time and obviously the Xfinity race is important for me and I have to excel there but when it comes to Sunday and racing there um, I can learn a lot from uh, tomorrow's duels on Sunday just being able to see how these things draft and how they race against other people. Thank you. You have a lot of experience around you they were asking about Tony and, and a few others but we were kind of joking a little earlier you have Tim Packman as well he's probably one of the mo most well-known PR guys so uh, 
you know, talk about a little bit what you've learned from Tony. What have you learned from Tim? Uh, yeah, I've uh, just kind of got to know Tim recently, but um, he's very knowledgeable and he's been around this industry a long time. So uh, good to have him in my corner for sure for this 500 crazy media day and see how it plays out. What advice has he given you to handle such a crazy week? Yeah, just kind of breathe and, like I said before, just take it all in because it's going to be a lot, but it's uh, it's really fun. What are you hoping to either tell yourself or, or learn uh, come Monday? Uh, the biggest thing I'm hoping to learn come Monday would be um, how much better of a race car driver I learned and became over this course of these next five days and um, how I can take that into my Xfinity car and, and go perform at a high level there. With Kevin Harvick leaving at the end of the year in Cup for SHR, do you feel like there's an opportunity there for you to move up full-time in Cup? I mean, I, I would love to, but the biggest thing is to perform at a high level and to go execute in my, my Xfinity car and go uh, be a contender when Phoenix comes around. Can you talk about the pressure going into this year in the Xfinity Series? Is it your third year? Yeah. Can you talk about that? Uh, there's definitely pressure, um, but I'm excited. I, I've never been this excited for a full-time racing series in my life like I am for this year in the Xfinity Series just because I feel like Stuart Haas Racing's Xfinity program is, a, is at a high level right now, and um, obviously having Cole Custer come down will only elevate my team as well, so hopefully uh, we can use that to our advantage. This is Timmy Hill, driver of the 56 Toyota. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also check out one of those videos beside me and visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.